Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. If you guys are interested in checking out my Etsy shop to see what it looks like, the link will be in the description box below. You can also use the code YouTube20 if you guys see anything that you like and you want to support my small business. But moving forward to what we are talking about in today's video, I just wanted to do kind of another updated video about um, like a clean with me, watch me clean, watch me reorganize and clean up this whole mess that I have going on right now. I will show you guys in just a moment what I'm working with and what it looks like. Too many boxes, too many things, um, completely unorganized and all over the place. So we're, we are going to take care of that today. So I really hope you guys enjoy watching me clean up everything. I got a lot of good comments on my last video that I made a few months back that people enjoyed that kind of video. So I do have some new things that I want to show you guys as soon as I'm done cleaning everything up. So I'll do what I did last time and just kind of quickly, hopefully go over everything that I have in my storage area. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the video. final finished look of everything and I'm just gonna take you through everything that I have in this storage area so I'm not gonna take anything down but those are just some really old candles that I made in the very beginning and um, I think I showed it more up close in my last candle storage video and then right up there that is just the eucalyptus and the little flowers that I use um, for my videos or not for my videos for my photos when I take photos of all of my candles. And then right up there are my boxes. So this box is a six by four by four. This box is a eight by six by four. And this box is an eight by eight by six. So those are the boxes that I use. These smaller boxes, um, that box right there, I use when I ship one candle. These boxes I use when I ship two candles or if I ship a candle in a wax mouth. And these boxes are used when I ship four candles. So that's just to give you kind of an idea of what I use. That's just some paper that doesn't mean anything right now. Um, we're gonna go over here. This is a heat gun that I use very rarely sometimes in very cer certain circumstances with candles. I'll use it just to level out the way that the candle looks or if there's a hair in it, I gotta dig it out. Now it has a little dip in it. So I will just go through and smooth out the top. Um, these are new, so this right here are now what I use for samples, but I'm just waiting on trying to find the right size labels to put on them. So the labels that I need for these are 1.25 inch by 1.25 inch. And on online labels, that's considered a special size, so I have to order 100 sheets of them, which will put me at about $126. So I'm thinking about just ordering it and just going for it and getting it because I'm gonna need them for it. But how cute are these? They're just each individual. So this is what it looked like before, just so you can see. 
So that is what I had before and it just looks terrible on there. So it's way too small. <laughs> I tried to see what would work and um, way too small. So um, in the meantime, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I haven't really sent out too many samples um, because of that reason. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do. Um, and then moving along, these are just some shop towels I use for um, cleaning up everything. I have my business cards right there, my thank you cards right there, and then that is my letter board that I used to use a lot more in my videos, but I haven't recently. Um, I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And then I have my tape right there. I do have my other tape dispenser somewhere. And then this is my green packing paper that I use to package up all of my items. So I wrap it in tissue paper and then I wrap it in bubble wrap. And um, I just have them each individually cut to the size for my um, wax melts and then also the size for my candles. And then this is just the bubble wrap. As you guys can see, I'm gonna be needing to get more bubble wrap soon because I'm running out. And then here I decided to just put all of my packing peanuts into this little bin and I have never purchased packing peanuts before this is just all from candle science California candle supply all these places that I've ordered from I just want to reuse the packing peanuts um, and then down here these are all of my tester jars I just wanted them to be compacted and out of the way because they were taking up pretty much this whole section right here so now I get to put all of these candles that need labels um, some of them need to be named and labels need to be created. Um, some of them, I believe this is the milk and cookie scent right there and it's just too low. I did the, the calculations wrong and as you can see, it's way lower than some of the other ones. So I just need to go in and just fill it up a little bit. That's all I have to do, but it's taken me a long time to do that. So moving on. Um, these are bamboo skewers and that's just what I use to stir in the fragrance oil when I pour it into the pitcher. And this is my whole little box that I use when I'm making uh, my candles. So I have my cotter pins, I have my alcohol, the little cups that I use to measure out the fragrance oil, um, the, the laser um, thermometer that I still have never used, and um, we have my wick trimmer, we have my scale, which is specific to measure out fragrance oil, so it's a gram scale. And then we have my little, these things that I've made, and that is just so I know when I'm pouring, just so when I know when I'm pouring my, um, just so I know where to pour it to, I hang it over the side of the jar and I know where to stop based on where it sits on the aluminum foil. And that's just the best way that I've found to be able to do it. I have my two pitchers right here and then I have my ladle, as you can see right there. So I have my ladle and yes, you guys, I know I need to get a spout. I totally get it and I agree. So I'm hoping that I will be able to install a spout. And also when I order another pot, another Presto pot, it is going to come installed with a spout and I'm gonna be using that for my tart wax. So I'm hoping to be able to get that soon. And then I have my scale right there that I use to measure out my wax with. I have my planner that I try to use, um, but I don't use it as much as I should. I should use it more. And then this is all the stock that I have left right now. So these are all of what I have. And actually, I got um, orders yesterday. So I sold seven candles yesterday. So this is all I have minus seven candles. So I got to get to making. Um, so moving on down here, this is where I hold all of my wicks. And I have some of the blotter sheets right there, some of the wick stickers. And then I have this right here too. So this is just clippings that I can use whenever I'm testing scents. And then this is all of my fragrance oils. So I had to get more boxes to hold it because I started putting fragrance oils over there and it was driving me crazy because I had fragrance oils over where all of my finished wax melts were. And I, I don't like that. Um, so now I have all of my fragrance oils all put around here and look at I have room now I have more room I haven't been able to see the bottom of the box in a while and then this is just a glove that I reuse whenever I'm moving around fragrance oils or touching them just because we all know fragrance oils can be messy they can run along the sides of the bottle and it's just, it just gets on your hands I don't like it and then um, these are all my finished and um, uploaded onto my Etsy shop so these are all listed for sale 
And then this is the, um, the little containers for my samples. So these are the bottoms and the tops to everything, and this is how they came. So I just click, and, uh, click them together. They each hold 0.5 of an ounce or about 14 grams, although 14 grams kind of takes it all the way to the top, but I don't really like it. So I've been playing around with doing about 12 grams and seeing how I like that. So I'm still getting used to how I like them filled up. And then right over here, we have all of the tart molds, um, the regular tart molds that I sell right there. And then back here, we have the lids um, to my jars. And then coming down to right here, these are my new jars that I'm using. So I got a pack of 48 of these and these are the eight ounce matte black tins from california candle supply and i'm still testing out the wicks on these um i'm as everybody as everybody knows i'm kind of a spaz so i don't do everything super organized and get everything done really really quick it takes me a while to do it so i'm still wick testing for that and i don't want to waste uh as many tins as i did with my candles so we're going to take it a little bit slower and then underneath the tens, we have my matte black jars from California Candle Supply. And this is all I have left. So I have about 22 jars left, which is not a lot. And I can't wait for them to, them to be back in stock. I keep checking. So I'm hoping soon they'll be back in stock and I can order maybe five cases of these just to have them. Um, I still have an unopened box of Soy 10 right there. And then my open box, I think I have one more slab in there. And then I have my tart wax right there, an unopened tart wax. And then over here, these are my poly bags that I use for shipping out the, um, the wax melts in. And a lot of you guys ask me, so I will uh, mention it real fast in this video. I fit about four uh, wax melts in here comfortably. I don't like to stuff it. And also you want to make sure that you are keeping it under a pound. Anything under a pound you can ship in this poly mailer. Anything over a pound you will have to pay priority shipping. You could still ship it in this poly mailer, but it will be much more expensive. At that point, I like to put it all in a padded flat rate envelope and that saves me more money. Um, and at that point I could fit I mean, I fit six in there. I bet you, you could fit double that. You could stack them on top and probably fit 12. Um, and of course, if you're shipping them in the plastic clamshell molds, they're pretty protected. And I do a wrap of bubble wrap on them too. So they'd be pretty protected that way. But I just want to throw that in there for anybody that was interested. And then I have my printer. Again, I get lots of comments on what my printer is, and it is a Canon Pixma printer. Um, a lot of these, I don't believe you can find this one. I mean, maybe you can. Um, it's a TS300 series, a TS3122. Um, it's a pretty old printer. It does really well for me, but um, I've kind of worked hand in hand with Johnny from Online Labels. He is the social media manager. And I asked him one time what printer he recommended that I could recommend to you guys. And I actually have that link in, linked in the description box below if you guys wanna check out that printer if you're looking for one. That's the one that he recommends. He's like the label dude. So I honestly am wanting to get that printer as well once this one um, isn't working anymore. But Luckily, it is working pretty well. And then over here, I just have some extra printer paper, and then um, I have my labels for my Dymo. I have some uh, wicks back there from when I was wick testing, and I'm keeping them just in case I need them, which I actually did need them as I'm testing out these new vessels, so it worked out. And then last thing I'm gonna show you guys over here is just my Dymo. And then this is my handy dandy um, little organizer for all of my labels and I love it so much. It took me a while to organize it because I'm a disorganized person. But everything on here is organized so I have my 1.5 inch circle labels, I have my 2.2 by 2.83 labels, two inch circles, and then in the back these are all of just my actual labels that are done. So I have my warning stickers that I make myself um, and then I have my other warning stickers that I make myself. So I have my ones, oh, that's empty. Oh, I see. So that I was using for it, but this is actually the warning stickers that I use for my wax melts. The only issue that I have printing these out myself on the Maestro Label Designer is I can't seem to get it 
to where it prints out perfectly in the middle on all of them. I've been having some issues with it, so I have to print it out a little bit differently. Um, and then I also have my thank you stickers, and this is just what I use for all of my orders that I get. And then anything that's kind of like a miscellaneous type of paper, maybe I've used most of the paper and there's some stickers left on there that are blank, I'll just put it in this back area right there and then I'll look whenever I need some blank labels, but let's say I only need like two labels, I'll use that instead of using just a brand new full sheet of it. And also real quick, funny thing about these uh, little file folders is that I had ordered these from Staples and went to go pick it up. So I ordered it on online and I went to go do um, the curbside pickup. So right when I got there, um, the uh, worker had come out and asked for my name. I told him what it was. He gave me a box and um, he, when he gave it to me, he said, okay, here's your candy. And I thought that that was just kind of a cutesy phrase that they say whenever they give out their, their products or whatever, their uh, orders to the customers. So as I was driving away, I stopped in a parking spot because I thought to myself, I need to check this to make sure that it's me, you know, cause they kind of clicked in my head candy. Why would you say candy? And I opened it up and sure enough, it was an entirely gigantic bag of Skittles. And I, I don't know why um, somebody ordered a gigantic bag of Skittles from Staples, but they did. So I had to actually walk inside and change and tell him this isn't for me. And he went to the back to go get my regular order. And um, I checked my order and they were wrong. These were wrong. I ordered florals. So I ordered floral file folders, but uh, it was dogs. So it is what it is. And I decided to go home instead of going back inside. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video on me organizing and cleaning up this area right here, as well as showing you guys what I currently have in my storage area. I know that a lot of you guys do like to see that, so I like to update you guys every so often, and this will probably be a trend every few months just to update you guys and show you what I have in my storage area. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.